welcome back all of you and then uh, we are now going to, to, to make a deep dive into the procurement actually so we are now going to create a contract purchase agreement you're going to get a contract purchase agreement just watch take notes parallelly and then when you run the video again take further notes and then do it without any mistakes it's very very important so i'm not going to share my screen now i'm not going to make a contract purchase agreement so let me go there click on it i will now click on the home icon click on the home icon it will now run for about an hour's time actually go to the procurement and then you go to the purchase orders go to the procurement and then go to the purchase orders go to the procurement and then go to the purchase orders procurement and purchase orders so go there click on it click on the task list and then click on what create agreement a contract purchase agreement i am going to create right click on the agreement click on create agreement i am now going to create a contract purchase agreement it's a one hour session and then just watch so my supplier name is what t01 if i write it what happens it has to come if i click on it what happens the supplier supplier side the contact has to come if i write it what happens it becomes somebody can tell you your t three letter number now somebody tell me we will not see whether it's all coming or not anybody your three letter code for the supplier A one five. Ah, A one five. A one five. I will not go there. I will not choose it. I will not see whether it comes or not. It's coming. Anybody else? C zero seven. C zero seven. I will not go there. Click on it. I will not check for it. I will not find it. It's coming. But anybody else? Sir, man. M A M. M A N. Ah, M A N man. Come on, yeah. This is he's a man actually. I know that. Manali Petroleum is all that. He must be yes. man support. Okay, man, man support. I will not say. Yes, very good. Man, man is very correct. K month is man. Anybody else? One more, one more. I will not check. Only one more. P two seven. Ah. P two seven. P two seven. The last one I am checking. Check on it. Good that all of you have now created your suppliers very properly. I know that. So I will not populate mine, and then I will not continue on this. i am not populating it so i am now creating what you have contract purchase agreement so in the top i go there and then change it to contract now by drop down i am not going to change it to contract contract purchase agreement i am changing it fine right? the style is contract purchase agreement and then i am putting a supplier side and then supplier contact me right? remember the style has must be changed actually upon coming in so click on create i am now going to create a contract purchase agreement let me open up a notepad And then I will now populate the PO number, the contract purchase agreement. This is called CPA. The CPA's number I am going to note it down. I will now say it's a CPA. Right. I will now note down the number. Right. It is now going inside. So once when the CPA gets created, the number will be generated. Please don't do it parallelly, but take notes. Now, right. The important points where they change the style to CPA supplier, and then click on create like that. You can now put it. Put the notes. So simple notes which you can easily understand the way in which you can understand style to CPA and then thing like that you have to do. The CPA number is what five two two seven two five two two seven two. I am now taking a notes in the notepad. Now I am going to say a contract will be normally for a period. Now in our company it will be for a three months period. I will now click on the start date. I will now give today's date. Today's date is seventeenth. I am going to give. And then end date we will now keep it as what we will now. Uh, Say one year. Right? I will not say one year. Normally, it will be for three months. A contract has to be a definite period. Actually, currencies. Now, I am not going to create or I am not going to what happens? Create uh, place purchase orders onto the supplier. The supplier is what T zero one sub one. So, to the tune of let us say thousand US dollars. Thousand US dollars. I am going to say to the supplier that between this start date and end date, I will now give you thousand dollars worth of purchase orders. Five dollars. So for which I am not going to ask the terms. Fine. Can you make a UPS as the shipping method? Fine. Freight terms. Fine. You will not say the supplier pays freight. I know that one. I will not say drop it off. Vendor pays freight. Fine. FOB is what? Uh, there will be some transit expenses like octroi, toll tax, fine. and then you have to give some bribe to the officers. So up to destination, everything must be free. Whatever expenses you will not take care of. 
payment terms i will now make a payment after this much of a time i will not say to be net 45 net 45 means what after 45 days only i will not give you payment so i am now going to negotiate with the supply on the terms actually we will be negotiating with the supply on the terms actually the terms are negotiated he will not say sir everything is okay fine if you want by ups and then yeah, i have to pay the freight and then up to destination everything you want is free and then after 45 days only you have to wait now this you leave it now for which what happens you give between this date and this date 1500 worth of orders if you are giving it then i agree so otherwise what happens you want it on blue card blue blue dot but i will not send you only by bullet card fine this money is not sufficient for me to send by blue card blue or blue dot so i will not send only by bullet card so that sort of a negotiation will not happen so when i put an amount uh, agreement amount that gets copied into amount limit also it automatically gets copied into amount limit so the amount ag agreed amount and then the terms are negotiated with the supplier actually he says everything is okay fine finally you had no derived the payment terms the shipping method the freight terms the fob everything etc etc and then uh, for this period normally it will be three months actually i have not given one year fine for three months so we are going to agree on amount <clears throat> Right. When you put a thousand, then give it a, it gets copied in this place, and that's it. The CPA is now created, yeah. and then afterwards, what happens? I'm not going to attach, you know, right? In the go to the notes and attachments, I will now say, <clears throat> I will now make some what happens? This thing, you know, right? note to supplier, right? <clears throat> uh, make weather proof packing, the plastic packing here. Yeah. and then i am asking the receiver to fine check upright delivery like if it is coming ulta seedha don't accept it and then i know we to ask him something also fine whether i am not going to make an attachment fine that's not it i will not go there let me create a word document <clears throat> fine please provide additional requirements please provide warranty warranty certificate for all items supply whatever is a warranty certificate has to be supplied if you have uh, give me a whatever is a mouse he has to give it warranty yeah your monitor is supplying it that as well we don't say what items are going to be there fine there is no item at all in the cpa there is no item at all in the cpa so provide warranty for all certificate for all items supplied so i will now say uh, attach uh, my transit insurance document along with dispatch document so every company will be having Certain amount of attachments are there. Right, I will not save it now, man. Why will save it? I will not save. I will not go there. Go to this PC. <clears throat> I will not go down. Uh, I will not go to this place. I will not open the serial tray here. I will not attach it as what CPA attachment. <clears throat> so he has to honor all these things, man. Right? In the CPA training, what happens? I am not attaching the CPA attachment. I will not close it. so like this blah 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 there will be so many things so the cpa will not say which item you have to supply but whatever items you supply for which i need a warranty certificate i need an insurance document etc etc will be right so that i am going to attach it only thank you very much so cpa will now only discuss about the terms with the terms and then the notes and attachments we are now given a note here now right make weather proof packing i will now make in the beginning cpa fine so is the cpa notes cpa notes right? just for our understanding the cpa notes is this one you click on the attachment over here now and click on the attachment and then i will not attach it here i know that i have attached <clears throat> so here i will not say two supplier actually make it to two supplier right? you can even make the attachment to anybody so make it to two supplier i will not choose that file click on choose a file so in the cds training we have a cpa attachment right? click on that that file is not getting attached so the title also will be coming automatically over here now i will not put a description now fine i will not here description is what cpa attach the cpa is complete in all respects so we have a note to supplier 
So they are all optional. Nothing is mandatory. A receiver and then attachment. And then we have discussed with him on the terms. So this one. And then during this period, I'm not going to give him an order now. Right? The order is a standard purchase order which I'm going to give it here within this period. Worth of thousand dollars. He will not say if you increase the amount, I honor everything. Otherwise, the supply may not honor at all. So this will be discussed with him. So amount agreed, and then the terms, and then the notes are discussed with the supplier actually. Okay, everything is okay, fine, but I will not give a save now. Click on save. So 52272 has to be submitted for approval. Let me make it as automatic now. Fine. I will not go right click and then duplicate. This step you may not have to do. I am doing it for all of you. I am doing it for all of you. If I go back to it. I will not go there. Go to the task. Manage document approvals. This you need not have to do. I am doing it for all of you. Click on it. I will not set it up to automatic. Thank you. Search now. Fine. I will not go to the what? Manage percentage. Doc percentage. APP percentage are an entry now. Manage purchasing document approvals. Entry now. So here I am not going to make the approvals automatic for all the agreements and orders. So we have one serial available here now. I will not see what exactly is written there. No, it's all big, uh, bigger. Now. I will not choose that. Terms of approval, serial three, and then let me write an automatic number. Click on it. I am not going to write out. So nothing is there. Let me make an automatic. So test all the things only on the requisitions and not on the purchase order. Everything is same actually. On the requisition, you keep on testing it. Okay. I never know the description now. I will not say rule always applies because don't test anything here. And then click on add action. And then I'm going to add an action. Here, I'll make it as what? Automatic. So it is all going to be automatic. Fine, click on OK, by which what happens, it gets started. That's it. So automatic is the one. I will now click on save and then deploy it. Save and deploy. You need not have to do, I'm doing it for all of you now. Fine. No need for you to do it at all. You need not have to do this. Because it's going to be a common one for every everybody. So I am not doing it. I am not deploying it also. <clears throat> I'm going to it. I will not enable this rule. I will not disable Pakistan. This rule is not enabled. This one I will not disable it. And then there is one more thing also I will not disable it. So that it will all be automatic actually. I'm going to on it. I will not disable this. Also. So only mine is there actually. Now let me submit it for approval. Like I will not go to the edit document. So it's not done. So click on submit. I need not have to look at the manager approvals. It will not say automatic actually. And click on submit. 52272 is now submitted for approval. It will now be getting approved. So the CPA is complete. CPA is basically discussed for what? On the start and end date. And then the amount agreed. The terms and then the attachments. Also. The terms and attachments. So there are four things with we are going to submit. Now we will now go on and have a look at it. If I click on the task list. I go to the manage agreements. I go to the manage agreements. And then here. I will not have a look at it. I will not put 52272. And then click on search. You want to search for it. We will not wait for the CPA to get approved. No. It is automatic. It will be getting approved. No. And there will not be any problem. It is not saying pending approval. If you click on the hyperlink on the pending approval, you will not find that what happens. It is not in the approval process, actually. No. Action. No. So it has got an attachment and then it has got a notes now. Fine. If you click on the notes exist, and if you click on the icon of the notes exist, you can now see CPA notes make weatherproof packing as well as check for upright delivery. These are the two notes which are given to the supplier as well as the receiver. And then if you click on the uh, jump click, fine. if you click on the jump click, it will now say you what sort of attachment we made. So we are asking him to what happens, this is the attachment we have made now. So we are asking him to supply warranty certificate, guarantee certificate, fine. Uh, the insurance uh, I think other document, etc., etc. Whenever he supplies any material, I will now expand the search and then I will now again make a search now. Click on search now. It has to become open now. Open, yeah, it has got approved now. So if it is open, means what? In requisition, it will not come as approved. In a purchasing, it will not come only as open. I will now go there. Click on it. We will now make a requisition referencing this 52270. I will now give a done and then come out of it on the next average. I will now click on the home icon and then I will now go to the procurement and then I will now create a requisition. I'll go to the purchase requisition. I'm going to get purchase requisition is the demand. I'm click on it. Purchase requisition is the demand. So we have existing items available in mission now. We now use this. So go there, go to the manage requisition and then click on what create requisition actually. So go there. 
it will become manager position by click on the one. I think it is there. Right. Go to the drop it. Not manager. Sorry, more task. Not manager position. Sorry. You go to the more task and click on the more task and then enter requisition lines. So we already have ready-made items on this now. Right? So now the preference is not set actually. Right. Deliver to location. Tell me what is the deliver to location for us in this place. You just watch and tell me what is the deliver to location. Anybody? Where we has to deliver? Anybody? Just make a guess. He has to deliver to headquarters or Atlanta or Chicago. Tell me where he has to deliver now. Anybody? There are multiple locations are available on the screen now. And to which location he has to deliver now? Come on. Say headquarters. No, not headquarters. It's Atlanta. Atlanta is wrong. Headquarters is wrong. Come on. Two wrong entries. Come on, tell me. When I ask something, that means what, whatever I'm asking is correct, actually. <laughs> Just to deceive you, I will be asking some ulta sida questions. Headquarters is wrong. Atlanta is yes, wrong. Seattle. Huh? Yes, Seattle. Because there is a 001 org. So they are only he has to deliver it now. We are now working only on 001 org. He has to deliver it now. I will now put Seattle. Seattle is the one. You write it. It will now go, 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 go. And then make it as an inventory and then make the sub inventory as stores. We are working on mission, so everything is ready made there. So, more the stores. And that's it. The preferences are getting set actually. So, it's internal, Seattle, inventory, stores, and then save and close by which the preferences set. Since I have set it, you need not have to set at all. In this place, you need not have to update the preferences because for the PRC 10, it is all set actually. I have already said. So no need to go to the screen at all for you. You need not have to go to update preferences basically. Right. So because I have already said. So this activity I have already said. So for you, nothing to do on this one. I will not give a cancel. We will not, you can now directly go out and create a requisition. So updating of the preferences is now complete by me. So you are now going to create a requisition actually. <coughs> so you go there, go to the mask, and then go to the enter. This one. You will not do this. You will now go straight away to enter requisition line. More tasks on the enter requisition lines. So we have ready-made items available there. So you can choose one of the items for this. So we have ready-made items. Please do not create any users on this fine, because you have to learn the subject actually. Man, subject we are learning it. And so don't create any users and then we'll be getting stuck on this. Because if they if the developmental environment, I go there. And then if you reduce it, you know. Okay. So I will now put capital A, capital S, and then six five. I will now say there will be plenty of items that are available. A six five. If you wait for it, you will not get a lot of items that are available. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like there will be plenty. Let me choose the first one. Any item you can choose. Click on it. I'm not choosing on A six five. Any item you can choose. And then adjust the quantity which the supplier wants. With the, with the, 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 is the requester actually. He is sitting in the mechanical department. He wants this item that is a five quantities. After putting the item, you will now find the category name, the UAM name, price, everything will be coming. Fine, wait for it. So all these things will be coming. I will now make the quantity as 10 or whatever it is, whichever quantity you want. So you can use the existing items. Otherwise, you can even create an item and then assign it to your org. You have to assign it to what? You choose the, the 00 as a master org and then assign it to 001 and then you can use it also. That is another way. So try to customize more and more into yours now. So it's now still coming. And I put it and I choose it. It's now coming. So the quantity is coming. Price is coming. Is out. I will not choose the quantity as 10. And then here and the agreement, whatever they go there, I am not going to populate the agreement. So agreement number is what? What is the agreement number, anybody? What is the agreement number? Anybody is remembering it, will not see. You will now test your remembrance now. I have already kept it on the, word, the, the notepad actually. You will now see anybody is remembering the agreement number? Hello? Mm -hmm. Nobody is remembering it. 52272. Good. But somebody started telling it. Fine. Do you know this? 522. If you write off of it, it will be coming. If you write off of it, it will be coming. You choose this one. Fine. You have to choose the appropriate one. Fine. So there is the agreement we are now entering in. 
the supplier will be coming the supplier said everything is coming so 10 quantities are not there so for this item if the price is not there you populate the price so the item is ready made at the price and so it is not coming click on add to cart for the 10 item and the agreement click on add to cart <clears throat> the 10 items are now getting added to the cart and then i will now test make the uh, approvals automatic for the requisition and go that you want to right click on the duplicate now it is getting added to the cart so let me make the purchase requisition approvals as automatic i am doing it you need not have to do on this ezx wa i am now setting it up to automatic actually you need not have to do at all click on it now go there click on it and then go there to see so i am now doing it actually so i am now setting it up to automatic actually Move it. I will now remove this. I'm sorry, get a move on that one. So click on it. I will now what happens? I create multiple things. I know. Right click on the duplicate. So I now have some more things also. So that what happens? It will be fast for me. So two more of that thing. Go back. So let me go there. Go to the setup and maintenance on that. Let me set up the record. I have already set up the purchase orders to automatic. You need not have to do it. This also I am setting it up. You need not have to do it at all. And click on search now. Fine. It is common for everybody. Fine. Manage. Rec percentage, APP percentage in the name. Manage requisition of rules. I will now set it up to automatic. I have a habit of using the third one now. Find the third one. Header hierarchy three. Other one. I'm going to click on edit rules and then see. I will now set it to automatic actually. <sighs> but people will keep on fiddling around now. Find this next one. So click on plus now. Find I will now make it. Work. So you need not have to do. Fine. I am not doing everything. You only concentrate on the business basically. Description. And then rule always applies. Fine. Click on OK. I will not add the condition. Fine. Click on add condition. I will not make it as automatic. So make it as automatic. Go there. So click on OK. Fine. By which it is not becoming automatic. So click on save and then let me deploy it. So I'm going to deploy it. Save and then deploy. It's all done now. Save and then deploy. I will not make it enabled and then the remaining, I will not distribute it out. So click on the camera, I will not enable it. It's not enabled. The remaining, hey, come on, cheapo, go away. You can stop. Click on it. I will not disable it. Click on it. Go there. Disable it. In the bottom, I go there. Click on it. Disable. So this is the only one there. So my approval is automatic. Now I have this shop on fine product. Click on it. Let us now submit for approval. It will be getting approved. Click on it. It will be getting approved. So click on the hyperlink of it. Click on the review. And remember, the uh, the price on the item is now showing us twenty dollars, but it is not negotiated by the purchase officer at all. It is not negotiated at all. But we have a referencing document at the bottom. So we have a referencing point two seven two. Now, this guy is saying that what I was uh, you please send me the lab test certificate. I will now say it's a uh, PR my notes. Please send me the calibration certificate. For this item, you might have calibrated calibration certificate. And he may also sound something, something. And then he will now make an attachment. Let us now make a PR attachment over here. Click on it. Let us now make a PR attachment. And this guy may even attach something. <clears throat> I will now say it's a PR attachment. Uh, please send me the standard operating procedure. So how do you want to operate? So something, something, the requester may ask me. He will now put it on a file and then let us now save it. So it is a PR attachment. Double click on it. And go there. It's a PR attachment. Go there on it. I will now take it up to this place. And then I will now go to the CTS training. And then here is the script. It's a PR attachment. So he will now make one day and then he may even attach. And nothing is mandatory actually. The note to supplier as well as attachment is not mandatory. But if he wants, he may even attach it also. I will now go there. Two supplier. Make it as two supplier. I will now choose the file. It is a PR attachment. I will not choose it. 
I will not put a description also what is not right. So it's not gonna find. I will not say the description is what PR attach description. Remember, nothing is mandatory here. No? When he is raising a demand, PR is nothing but raising of a demand. So he may send a note to the supplier. He may attach it. Fine, nothing is done. Fine, you can now see in the bottom it is referencing the CPA. The CPA has got an attachment. The CPA has got a notes. It has got a note to receiver also. Fine, all this thing to that. It says who is the contract. So it is governed by the CPA. And then this is the supplier number. And then this is the agreement number actually. Now he will not submit for approval. May not go and then note it down now. Fine. So the requisition number, the PR number, I am going to note it down. Fine, take copy of it now. Fine. Take copy. I will not put it on my file. So the PR number, PR number is this now. So the CPA number is this now. So click on submit now. And since I already made it as automatic, it will be getting approved. I hope that nobody has modified it in the last two minutes actually. Otherwise, I had to go to manage approvals in this way. So the approvals for the PR and PO are set to automatic by me. You need not have to worry at all. If somebody has changed it, you have to go there and then make it as automatic. Because we are now learning business. So since we are learning business, we have got a lot to learn in the business. And then those things try to avoid now. Creating a own structure and then doing all those things fine. The six methods of approval, they are all lab exercises later on some other instance and not on this one. EZX WA is like your neighbor's wife. Don't touch it. Fine. You only have to use it now. Do not do any R&D on this one. Okay. 204087. It is now coming as a pending approval. I now click on the hyperlink of it. And once it is approved, the PR will now go as approved now. The PR will be going as approved. Whereas the PO will now go as open now. Purchase orders will now go as open. Whereas PRs will now go as approved now. Please take notes of all those things, whatever I speak now. Because later on, I am speaking a lot. So you may not be knowing anything now. Click on the recent requisition. Click on the hyperlink on the requisition. It has to get approved. Now. So pending approval is still coming. Fine. Click on the hyperlink on the pending approval. You cannot see. We have a notes also, and then it is not done. Fine. So you cannot see that there is a notes existing, and then there is an attachment existing. If you click on the notes, whatever you cannot see the notes now. My note to PR note and PR notes actually. PR notes he has not sent to me. And then there is an attachment also. When you click on the attachment icon, it will show you what you have attached to the AD point that we can see. Okay, ma. Click on done now. Fine. You can also see it has to get approved now. Ayya, it is got approved now. And now what happens? We will now process this PR now. We are going to process this PR. Sometimes what happens if you go on and click on it, click on it. There is an I icon which will be coming where. Whatever there is an IA coming be coming here. It says that the buyer is not taken up for processing it. Fine. It is not coming. So sometimes it comes. Fine. We will be explaining that a bit later. So if an IA icon is not coming, I will be explaining about it on Saturday morning. Even if it comes at the morning. So go that on. So this activity is now complete. I will not go to the next screen now. Fine. Go that on now. Fine. You will now go to the purchase orders. We are now going to convert this PR into PO. I click on the home icon. I click on the home icon. And then I go to the procurement. And then I go to the purchase orders. Fine. I go to the purchase orders. And then this screen is manage agreements. I, go to the purchase orders. I will not click on the task list. And then I go to the top on the top list. I go to the top. Remember, we are now learning business now. So don't worry about the other things. Fine. Learn business and then do it properly. Click on the process requisition. So click on the process requisition. You are going to learn it. Process requisition. Go there. So here you can now see the line has already come. Otherwise, what happens? I have to put the requisition and then put it. Requisition number is what? You go there, click on it. It is PR number is what? 204087. 204087. So without even querying, it has already come now. And then remove the buyer and then query. Fine. Put the requisition number. Make the buyer as blank and then query. Buyer the blank and then on search now. So it is now come to the process requisition area. <clears throat> And then the system is unable to automate it, automate the PR into PO. Now. So the system is unable to do because there is a yellow icon. It says that the price in the requisition is not negotiated. It is not taking $20. Fine. It is a hydraulic period price. 
since nobody has uh, what happens negotiated the price the requisition has failed of the automation actually we will not succeed on the automation on saturday actually. so it's not fine it doesn't matter it's only a warning message so it's not held up over here select the line and then click on the add to document below select the line and then click on add to document below <clears throat> i'm not going to add it add to select the line and then add to document below it will now come to the next screen where i'm going to add it in this screen don't do anything at all fine don't do anything click on okay and then add it now click on okay it will be getting added to the document builder on the right hand side it will be getting added to so go there click on it and then go down and then click on create now i am not going to make a purchase order for this 10 quantities at a price of 20 dollars the total amount is 200 dollars click on create now click on create so we have the supplier on site already mentioned on the purchase requisition pr so they are getting reflect over here and then we are now creating a po so the po is created by the purchase officer in the process requisition area he selected it and then he has added to the document builder and then he is now creating it actually. now the purchase officer is going to negotiate the price with the supplier are yaar 20 to jyada hai i will now give only 16 now supplier will now say no no sir at least give 18 now okay fine right? mutually agreed that tumhara bhi nahi mera bhi nahi fine right? will now have a beach ball so 18 dollars here only so this price will be changed by the purchase officer on the purchasing document actually so once the system creates a purchase order fine you can now see the po number will be coming i will not order the po number so the document 164121 is the po number so we have got three documents still now created i go that one as long as that so is the po number so we have a cpa number we have a pr number so we can now see on the po the cpa number as well as the pr number both will be mentioned over here you go that go on so the requisition number is mentioned the agreement the cpa agreement so both the numbers are mentioned now the purchase officer is now going to discuss with this one yes both of them are mutually agreed for 18 dollars we will not change it to 18 dollars 18 dollars yes he has not changed it we go that one and then we will now go there click on save and then submit you are saving it and then he is now going to submit for approval it is automatic approval so it will not go to anybody at all it will be getting approved automatically so this is for 199 dollars think of that this is for 199 dollars <throat> so the taxes are also applied actually fine it is applied the taxes 180 plus 17.10 is the tax if you click on the tax what happens in us they have got three levels of taxation fine if you click on the total tax there are three levels of taxation fine one is the non recoverable taxes one is the recoverable tax fine so the non recoverable tax is 17.0 the non recoverable it cannot be recovered at all Not a good tax. So, along with the taxes, the total money which you have to pay to the supplier is one ninety one for it. So, let us now submit for approval and click on submit for approval. So, the PO gets uh, submitted for approval. So, initially we created the CPA, then we created a PR. Now, the system has created a PO for you, and then the supplier has now the purchase officer has negotiated the price, and then for the eighteen dollars, it is not done. So, afterwards, you will now do it. And click on okay, now that is it done. So, click on the now. We will now go and then query this purchase order. click on this now fine previously we have gone to the manage agreements now now we go to the manage orders and put it order i go to the manage orders and then i go to put it order we will now take a copy of the order number for you know fine we are taking up 164121 164121 and then go there and then click on search in the process requisition area you have to remove the buyer and then query whereas here no need at all in the process requisition area remember you have to remove the buyer and then query otherwise it will not come at all so click on search i am again and again giving you a note now fine so remove the buyer and then query for that it is pending approval i now click on the hyperlink on the pending approval now see where exactly it is going now <coughs> now the approval process has started so you can now see fine ayya it got approved now application developer has approved the task has also completed it's all approved now click on now so you can now see if you give a search now fine it is not now Our management has now given a limit of thousand dollars. Fine, thousand dollars. We'll now go there. Click on that now. We'll now query our agreement. So this is PO is open. We click on it. I will now go on and query. So go to the manage agreements. Let me query. I will now query the CPA number. So I will now go on and see the CPA number. CPA number is what? Five two two seven two. So our management has told that within the next one year or three months or one month or whatever it is, fine. Five two two seven two. Five two two seven two. Click on search. 
they have given thousand dollars as the total limit. So till now, how much has been released? One eighty dollars has been released. So up to that date of one month, what happens? We can only release the agreement amount is what thousand dollars. So we cannot go beyond this. So all the POs referencing the CPA cannot exceed the agreement amount at all. Agreement amount cannot be exceeded. Now we'll not go on and see. Okay, now if I create a re requisition for more than this, we'll not see what happens. I will not go to the shop. I will not create a requisition for more than this. Now I'm not going to do it. Right? I will not go there. I will not enter requisition like this. I'm not going to request one more item. Why not the same item, but a different item? Also. I will not go there. Enter requisition lines. So this time I will not put the next item on this list. So go there. I will not say AS65. Previously I have not taken 000. Now I will not say portable wireless printer. And 001 I'm doing it. So the price is coming at 66. I'm going to go I will not go for 20 quantities. And 20 quantities means what? The total price is beyond 880. Right? Beyond 880. So, you know so click on it. I will not add it to cart. And then I will not put the agreement number. Right? Agreement number. Before you add to cart, we have to reference the agreement number. So, agreement number is what? Go there. So, 2040. The CPA is 522712. Right? 522. If you write it, it will not come automatically. We are going to reference the agreement. So every PR has to reference an agreement. Fine. Then only what happens, it will be possible for you. Put, put the agreement over here. The supplier inside, everything is coming. So I am not asking for 20 quantities at the price of 66, which is there in the item. Actually. So click on add to cart. And then all these things put together is now exceeding 1,000 actually. If you go that you want. So previously, 180 has been released against this, against this agreement, 52272. Now this will not again get approved at all. I will not submit for approval. So the PR number is what? 204080. I will not say second PR. 204088. Second PR. And then this is more than the in the agreement, we have only limit of what? 1000 USD. 1000 USD. So both the things put together is now exceeding 1000 actually. Click on submit. So 204088 is now submitted for approval. That will get approved. So go there. It is not pending approval. And after some time, what happens? It will be getting approved. And if you click on the hyperlink, you will not find that it will be getting approved. So, so click on the pending approval. You cannot see the process is happening. Fine. It is not developed in the list now. Fine. Click on that. So we will now go to the manage. We we'll go to the process requisition area. So you will not. Fine. You click on it. I will now go to the process requisition area on the purchase orders area. So here go there. So if it is approved, it will be coming up automatically on the list. The bottom it will be coming as a what's called not processed one. Right? Nothing is coming. So let us now put the requisition and put it up. Keep on it. The requisition number is what? 204088. Now make a change. So remove the buyer and then query. The buyer must be removed and then query now. Right? Keep on removing it. Jiki, jiki, jiki. So click on search now. Right? As soon as it gets approved, it will be appearing on the process requisition area to be processed. Yes, we got it. Mandichi. It again says that the price is not negotiated. The price is not negotiated. The requisition failed the automation because it is not negotiated. Doesn't matter. Now the buyer will now select the line and then he will now add to the document later. He will now add to the document later. It will be coming out in this screen. Please don't do anything. Click on OK only in this screen. Add to document later. So click on OK. That will be coming out of the document later on the right hand side. So he is now going to create a purchase order. Right? Click on create. He is now creating a purchase order. Now, previously 180 was released against 522. I know that. 180 was released against 52. Now, 1000 and dot is now as a second one. If you go that, click on it. And then you go down and then see this. So, if I try to validate, go to actions and then validate, it will now say there is a validation problem. Go to the actions and go to validate. It will now say there is a validation problem because both the POs put together is exceeding 1000. The amount limit, the amount limit of the 52272, it is exceeding actually. It will now say. So, we cannot approve it at all. So all the referenced POs, this is called SPOs, should not exceed the agreement amount limit. Your order will not cause the total amount released against this agreement to exceed the amount limit actually. All the referenced POs put together cannot exceed the amount limit of its CPE actually. Fine. That is why it is an error. So we have to first of all address it. So the one, so go there. We'll now note down the second PO now. Right? 164122 is the PO, second PO now. Right? 
for the long go that this is the second pivot. 164. 164. 122. It's the one. So second pivot is ready now. So I will not give a cancel. It's already saved. Then give a save now. Give a save. Save it. Fine. I will not cancel. Now, what happens? The purchase officer will not open the agreement. He will not go to the, go to the manage agreements. He will not click on it. You go to the manage agreements. If you click on the manage agreements, go back on it. He will not query the agreement now. 52272. 52272. Here he can put the buyer, but on not, not on the process requisition. Process requisition, the buyer must be absent. Remember. Click on search. Here he can put the buyer. He will not query it. Now he will know what happens. Enhance the amount limit. He will not talk to the management. Sir, thousand dollars is not sufficient at all. Oh God, where I was now, manage order. Sorry, I made a mistake. No, I will go to manage agreements. I will go to manage agreements. Keep on talking. I will have to go to manage agreements. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on. I will not go to the manage agreements. Manage agreements, I will not go there. So go there, 522725, click on search. I will not go to the manage agreements. I'm going to search. So now we are going to enhance the limit of it. So we have an attachment on the agreement. We have an attachment on the agreement. I can see this. Now. We have CPA attachment as well as we have a notes on the attachment. And there are two notes are available on that. So one is the CPA notes. Make a weatherproof packing as well as what? Check for upgrade delivery for the receiver. One for the supplier and one for the receiver. So he is now going to amend it. Right? Select it and then go to actions. And then what happens? We are now going to edit. Now. Edit means what? He is going to change. Now. Keep on it. So once we edit, what happens? It will now create a change order. Right? A change order will be created because they're now undergoing a change. Keep on a snowman. A change order is now getting created. Thank you, Panas Nova. The change order gets created. And then here, the amount limit is not sufficient. We have entered only the amount agreed, and then that gets copied into amount limit. This is not sufficient at all. So he will not say what happens, go there. He will not say enhancement. Enhancement of amount agreed. So the cumulative POs will not look at the am agreement amount, but it will not look at the amount limit actually. Amount limit is the one. So he is now asking for the management, sir, between these two dates, I need to buy more. And then I have now already got struck on this thousand limit. You will now say, okay, management is saying 2000, you go on and do it. Make a change. Normally, what happens it is sent for uh, approval to somebody. But since it is a training, we are now making it as automatic. So amount limit has been made as 2000. Fine, give us save. Now 2000. I will now submit this 52212, change order number one now. Fine, click on submit. The change order one with the description of enhancement of amount again is now submitted for approval. Since it is automatic, it will be getting approved. So click on search now. Again, you come to the main screen file to search. You will now see a AI icon will be coming. A change order is pending. If you click on this now, a change order is now pending for approval. A change order is pending for approval. You will now wait for the change order to get completed. Click on search now. We will now wait for the change order to get completed. The AI icon has to go away. So once it is approved, the AI icon will go away. Click on search now. The I icon will go away. Now gone. Good. So that means what? With the amount limit of 1000 is now coming. So if you click on the release amount, fine, you are having only one PO. Let us now go to the PO and then what happens? You go there and then approve it. Fine. Click on the, let us now keep it as such. Fine. I will now go to the place. I will now go to the manage orders. Fine. One more tab region, I'm opening it up. Manage agreements, I'm keeping it over there. I will now query the order now. Fine. The second order was now having a block. 164, 122. Fine. Go there. Click on it. 164, 122. Let me search for it. So this was having a problem. So there is a X mark is there. Click on the error. And if you click on the error, it will not say you. The cumulative, your orders will now cause the total amount released to exceed the amount limit of the 52272. That was the error. I will now go then go to actions and then go to what, edit now. I'm not going to edit the document. So this time when I validate it, it will not have any problem at all. You go to actions and then go to validate. This time. We have already enhanced the CPA's limit from 1000 to 2000. Fine, click on validate now. Fine, because it will not have any problem at all. Jolly, jolly. It will not say there are no errors now, sir. Fine, no errors are there. No, no, no. So click on it. I am not going to submit it. Fine. There are no errors because it's mentioning, it's governing CPA is now having a higher limit actually. So it is a different requisition and then the agreement is saying, so we are now submitting it for approval now. 164122 is now submitted for approval. Now it will not have any problem at all. I'm going to click on it. No, no. So click on done and then again we will now re it. Six, I go back in the agreement date. I will now go to the manager orders. 
Now you can see the total amount released will be what? That 1000 something plus 180 will be the total released amount actually. Now we will now have a look at the order number. Right? Click on it. We will now go to the manage orders. And then let me query the order number. The second order number, second people are going in now. Right? 164122 is the one. 164122. Right? Click on search. So once when you search for it, it will be coming up over here in the bottom line. Right? It is open. Jolly jolly. Now, if you go there and then go to the manage agreements, and then when I requery it, you will now see that the release amount will be going up. Fine, let me requery it. You click on search now, fine, I'm going to requery it. You can now see it is now the total release amount is 1,500 actually. If you click on it, it will now say what are all the POs which contribute to the 52273. And click on the hyperlink on the release amount, it will now show me both the POs actually. It will now show you both the POs. So the POs will be having all the attachment and all the notes actually. You will now see in one of the POs all the notes and attachments. So it now says there are two POs are available here now. 164121 and then 164122. So both are in an open status actually. So here I will now see on the first one now. If you click on the notes now, the PO, there will be a notes available. Click on this one to one notes. You click on the notes now. You can see this now. You can see the notes available. The note to supply as well as note to receiver available. So there is a line level notes now. Right? This is on the what I was in the, on the CPA's notes. They're on CPA's notes. Fine. Right? CPA, they are written these two notes now. Right? So on the main header. If you go to the line level and then see there is a line level attachment now. Right? So these are all CPA's notes. And click on this. So click on the notes now. On the line level, we will now see the notes. So note to supplier. Right? PR notes. The, so the PR notes has come over here. PR notes. And then if you click on the attachment, it will be again a PR attachment. Right? Click on it now. We'll now see this line level. We'll see this moment. So there is a it now shows both the attachment, the PR attachment as well as the CP attachment. So this attachment icon shows you the PR attachment as well as the CP attachment. This notes shows you only the line level attachment, my nine level notes. And then here, whatever you can now see the CPA's notes. This is now CPA's notes, and then this is a this notes is what PR notes, and then attachment is for both actually. Both the things are shown. So it will all be printed and then it will be sent to the supplier via email. Right? Sometimes email, sometimes by post, and then it will all go there. And then we will now start. So the second PO is for 1,320 plus taxes. Right? So taxes do not come into the amount limit actually. Taxes are separate actually. 180 plus taxes, and then is 1,320 plus taxes. So this completes the PR CPA automation actually. Right. And then if you go there and then you go and then query your whatever your purchase requisition. requisition. So there is a line life cycle as well. If you click on it, so the PR 1300. If you click on the line, well, you will now see in the line level, the order number also will be coming. Right. You have to requery, then you can now see the order number also coming. Over there. So I will now click on the line level line, line level life cycle. It will not show you what are all the progresses which has made it now. Right. So it shows you the order number now. Right. The order. The open order and go there. So, order number is 164122. Right? And then, once when he ships the material, it will not say what are the shipments now. Once when we receive it, it will not say what are the things. And then, once when we create the invoice, it will not see. We will be seeing these things later on. So, the complete life cycle of a PR will be shown over here. PR is the start point of a demand. So, once when the requester wanted an item for which whatever the order got placed, and then he is now going to ship it. So, once when he ship it, it will not show over here. And then once when you receive it, it will not show here. And then once when we create an invoice for payment, it will not show here. Invoice come payment, everything will be shown. So the complete life cycle of a requisition can be seen in this place now. In this icon. In this icon. The order number also be going and click on done. And then go inside, you can see the order number. And go click on done now. And then yes, now back to one or see. So again, whatever you go there. <coughs> if you click on it, you can now see the order number. So it's now approved. <coughs> Now, the requester feels that I don't want this 10 quantity at all. He is not cancelling the demand. The demand is going to be cancelled actually. Right? We will not see what happens to the PO. He is not going to cancel the demand. It's because requesters can ask for any item at any point of time because they are the ultimate authority in a P2P life cycle. He says, I don't want this item at all. Yeah, I'm not going to cancel. You go to actions and then here, what happens? I will not cancel the requisition. The requester is cancelling it. He say, I don't want it. We'll not see what will happen to the PO. Fine. We have 164121 PO is already made. Fine. He is not going to action and then click on the cancel requisition. He is going to cancel it. We'll not see what happens. Fine. 
I do not. So you will not give a reasonable explanation. Oh, you know, I don't want it. Click on it. So he is now cancelling the requisition. We will not see what will happen to the purchase order. Actually. So the requisition lines were cancelled or cancelled request was submitted for the lines. Actually. So there is a blue icon is there. So order has changed, pending changes actually. This order is not having pending changes. You will not see 164, 121. There is a change. The order is not having a pending changes. You will not go to the manage orders. And 164 right? this is, the, is the basically manage orders. I will not query the order number. I click on done and then come out of it now. Uh, yeah, I am in a class. I will call you in about 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 So I will now, is the manage agreements actually fine. I will now go to the manage orders. I will now go to the manage orders. The manage orders. <clears throat> so I will now put the order number over here. What is the order number? One six uh, the first to be one six four one two one is the one. One six four uh, one six four one two one is the one trying to that one. Because the requester has cancelled it. We will not see what will happen to the purchase order. So go ahead, click on it. So click on it now. One six four one two one. We are now searching for it. So it says what we are unable, unable to. What happens? View the order itself. By because the order might have got cancelled. So include closed documents. I will not say yes and no. Previously, what happens? We are now made as no. So it must have got cancelled also. Right? Click on search. You know, right? It was not coming at all. So I will not say include closed documents. And then I am going to make a search. Now it says the order is also cancelled, but supplier may shout right? because. The purchase requester has cancelled it and click on done. Now this is not done. Fine. Click on done. Fine. But if the requester cancels it, the system automatically cancels the PO also. So, the one. so yes, cancel it. But this is still showing as only approved. Fine. It doesn't show anywhere that it is cancelled. But here the document is cancelled. If you click on the PO number, what happens? You can now see that the PO is cancelled. If you click on the PO number, you can now see the PO is cancelled. But somewhere there will be a message that is cancelled. Actually, fine. It's not showing me anywhere. I couldn't understand that part. No, fine. Nowhere is not showing me. So the PO, we are able to open it up and then see the status is cancelled. Actually, but uh, the supplier may not agree on it. Fine, sir. I only started manufacturing it for you, and then now at this stage, at the time of shipment, you are cancelling it. I cannot agree on it. So in that case, what happens? We only have to buy it. We have to we have to receive it and then pay him. But requester, we cannot say anything at all. Because requester is the ultimate authority in a P2P life cycle. So whatever he needs it, the purchasing department is now purchasing and then giving it to you. So go, there. So go to the actions and then go to the view document history and click on the view document history. Now you can see all the activities which have been done. On this. It has been initially submitted for approval and submit purchase order. And then again, what happens? It is now automatically again. And then again, submit requisition next one. Now see. So he has now, this is the final one where he has given a comment for cancellation action. If you click on the hyperlink on the submit purchase order, submit purchase order change is the one. And click on it. You know, see, this is the reason for cancellation actually. If you click on the submit purchase order, because the order is not fine, right now, right? it is now approved and then task completed. And then you can now see on the camera icon on this one. And click on the camera icon. You can now see the messages what he has given actually. He has given a reason for cancellation actually. <clears throat> so you can now see the messages on this place. Click on it. So it will not come now, and not coming actually. It normally used to come now. In this place, if you click on this one, some uh, pop up message blocker is there, and now it's not. So when I click on it, whatever, if you click on the camera icon, it will not show you what exactly is the reason for this on the board. <laughs> and then he must have given a message no, man, that is not coming and approved by the workflow system everything is not shown here no. somewhere it will not show no. thank god it is not visible no. the change order approval no. the amount has now become zero I really oh he is now here I do not want it cheapo he has written it no. the change order description is not coming here 
So this message is coming. And then the amount has got changed to zero. I don't want it. He can say at any point of time, I want it or I don't want it. So the purchasing department has to only convince the supplier, Array, I will not give you some other order. So please do not process it. But if you still say that I already manufactured it, the, we only have to receive it and then pay the supplier. No other way. We cannot blame the requester because requesters are the ultimate authority in running the plant. Actually. So they, we cannot question him about why you don't want it. And click on the number. That's it. Nowhere it is mentioned as cancelled. It is not saying only approved. No, right? Everywhere it is not saying only approved. Said as approved, but nowhere it is not coming as much. So once when the PR gets cancelled, its corresponding POs will be getting cancelled actually automatically. And the line cycle also in motion. So this completes the PR CPA. Got it, Nafai? So I give you time up to Saturday morning at 10, 10 a.m. Now, this is a real business which you are now learning. Right? So don't create any structure here. And then first of all, do the business and then try to understand it. And that's very, very important. I will not stop the record. And then I will not go there. If you have any doubts, you can ask me now. <clears throat> okay. Now I will not stop the record. Click on it. Let me leave the meeting and then.